Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of uh, Samuel. <laughs> gotcha. Last run, whole lot of fun. Never really in danger except for that time we had to beat the haunt without getting hit. Twice. That's not so bad then. Maggie? I don't love Maggie. S E 6 L Q 3 P R. I've talked ad nauseum. People probably want me to shut the fudge up, only I didn't say fudge, about like character power rankings. They'll be like, wait, stop talking about doing the video, just do the freaking video. But I keep, I have to think critically about it. If you compare Maggie to Azazel, Isaac, Judas, I think it's no question that Maggie's worse. So at best, Maggie's like the fourth best character of the game. And this is all changing if you're uh, if you're new to the game and you need the HP to survive. Then you'd probably rather have Maggie than Judas. You might still rather be a Zazel than Maggie. But anyway, um, sure, Maggie starts with a little extra HP. Let's tackle it one by one. Who would you rather be, Maggie or Blue Baby? I would rather be Blue Baby, in spite of the HP restrictions. Uh, guaranteed deals with the devil, I think, are awesome. Uh, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility. Those advantages stack up. Maggie does start with more HP on like two different levels, and also, oh, Curse of the Maze. Got me tripped up a little bit there. Um, Maggie also starts with a, a much better, well, much more useful for her space ball item. It would be useless to Blue Baby, but, um, and yes, I shit on the poop. I'm sorry. It's not very good, in my opinion, <laughs> which is my way of saying it's not very good at all. Anyway. So I'm saying Blue Baby's better than Maggie. What about Samson? I'd rather play as Samson. You start with less HP. Bloody Lust is a really good passive. Um, that's about it. I think you also start with a Spirit Heart, which gives you a much better chance of getting a deal with the Devil if you don't find bombs and Tinted Rocks on the first two floors. So I think Samson ranks above her. Would I rather play as Kane or Maggie? That's where we start to get interesting. Luck is still a... Oh, God. Luck is still an interesting stat. Um, it can be good. Loki's Horns is an item that looks a lot better than it actually is, but it's still, it's okay to have. At least there's some cool synergies with stuff like Knife and Brimstone. Uh, anyway. Kane starts with half as much HP. I think I might rather be Maggie than Kane. Would I rather be Lazarus or Maggie? I think I'd rather be Lazarus even though I had some shit runs with him and lost a lot of favor for him. Because you, um... You can kill yourself on the first floor and pretend to be Judas, basically, or you could roll, like, more versatilely, or you could kill yourself on the first deal with the devil and pretend to be Judas and get even more upgrades. Um, so I think I'd rather take Lazarus than Maggie, but maybe Maggie beats Kane, and then you gotta think Eve. Would I rather be Maggie or Eve? I don't know, man. The Whore of Babylon thing is so good, but if you don't become Whore of Babylon, it kind of feels like you're, you're just in a terrible position, and Eve starts with terrible HP. Well, she starts with okay HP, I guess I should say. So for my taste, I think you probably put, you go like, people are going to hate me for this, but I think I might put Eve or Kane at the very bottom character. Then the other one would be right after. So either Kane, like if Eve's last, then Kane's next. Then it's probably Maggie for me. Don't get hit by that. In like the third to bottom position. Followed by like Samson. I'm probably missing one here. I'm thinking like, Oh, Eden, Eden I don't factor in because it's too random. I love playing as Eden. I hope we random Eden some more here. We got like a thousand tokens to use. Um, but uh, I don't I don't factor it in because sometimes you can have a great Eden run, sometimes you can have a terrible Eden run. Well, that's true with every character. True, but like, you, you know, how am I supposed to rank that? Like exactly in the middle or something? I don't know. Probably is a way to do it that I just have not considered, but have fucking mercy. Okay. Your rankings may differ. I'm interested because, like, at the top, I think I think there's like a clear division between Blue Baby at the bottom of the top. I think Scorpio is pretty good. Blue Baby at the bottom of the top, and then like whoever you have at the top of the bottom. Even though Samson's pretty good, I don't think he's as good as any of the characters. Like, how would you rather play Judas, Azazel, Isaac? Blue Baby or Samson. Some people might say Samson over Blue Baby, I guess. Eh, maybe I'm maybe I'm not giving it enough credit. I gotta do some more thinking before I do this video, clearly. So Scorpio's good. We are gonna pick this up. Uh, in the meantime as well, I'm gonna sacrifice one of our spirit hearts to go to this curse room. Kinda wish I'd saved our bomb now. Uh, but it's gonna give us more than we would probably get in that chest, although it could have been an item. 
should still be able to keep all of our... Yeah, we should be able to keep that Eternal Heart alive. I'm not gonna say we should be able to keep all of our Red Hearts, because... Or, sorry, all of our Spirit Hearts, because that is a little bit presumptuous on that behalf there. That was just terrible damage. I saw it coming and just kind of stuck with it. Larry Jr., huh? Well, Larry Jr. plus Scorpio is a great combination, in my opinion. One, like, actual poison damage uh, duration, if you cumulative damage from it, is probably enough to do, like, one-third of a, uh, a Larry Jr.'s HP. Unfortunately, well, this is a good situation for us to be Kane because we would probably get a higher amount of uh, actual poison shots as a result of Scorpio, but anyway. It does, of course, depend on what you get in your runs. We, we will take Contract from below. No two black hearts next to this? That seems a little wild. Um, I don't love it. I take it. Rate of Fire got nerfed a little bit. HP's still fine. Um, yeah, I, basically... You, why do I take Experimental Treatment? Because I'm a big dumb animal, basically. Um... I, I can, oh, shot speed is uh, through the roof right now. Um, uh, I, I take it because I'm an idiot. And I, I know logically, like I've, I've looked at the item stats and what it does. One of the few times I look at the wiki, right? Uh, because the item uh, description for experimental treatment is wrong. It says it, it gives you all stats up, then shuffles them. Or at least it's ambiguous. It doesn't actually swap like your tier stat for your damage stat or anything like that. Instead, it just... Uh, it has like a range that it can affect your stats. So it can raise your damage by one or lower it by one. I don't know what it did. It might have kept it the same here. Hmm, technology plus poison is a good combination, I think. Even though our tier, our rate of fire is so bad that we're going to have terrible DPS here. I think this is an okay pickup, and I like these, you know, overarching tier effects. I don't love not one-shotting those guys. Hopefully our bombs can carry us to another deal with the devil here, but polycephalus not that hard anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um... So I've, I've looked at Experimental Treatment, I've looked into it extensively. I think Experimental Treatment is... It, it's worth picking up, like Bob's Brain, I've said this before, but in case you didn't see that episode. I think um, Experimental Treatment is a lot like Bob's Brain, in that the only time you need to pick it up is if your run is awful. Because then, there's no downside. It can make your run worse, but if you're already going to lose, it's not like you're going to lose harder. Uh, and if you're going to win, don't pick up Experimental Treatment, because it can it can ruin your day. But for now, um, I'm I'm okay with this. You know, I, I don't think it helped us. I don't think it's going to hurt us that much. We can't even use bombs to fight this guy. If we had remote detonator, we could, but whatever. We don't really want remote detonator, to be honest with you. Please, God. A... I've lost track in my mind of where he is. Uh, please, God, a deal with the devil. There you are. If the poison duration was just a little bit longer... This fight might be conceivably over by now. Oh, it might work. It did not work. It almost worked, though. Don't stand there. Yeah, that was a dumb place to stand. No deal with the devil, but a damage upgrade I'll take. It sucks because we don't really need a damage upgrade as much as we need a rate of fire upgrade, but this is okay. Last time we had technology, we had technology soy milk, which was really funny. Technology soy milk cancer trinket, actually, which was even better. Um... And even still, like, my my damage wasn't blowing me out of the water, you know? It was just, like, it was okay. I'm going to open this golden chest. All right. I don't love it, but it, we have it. Why do I, why open the golden chest? We have a humbling bundle. So I feel like we can be a little bit more aggressive with our keys. Because at the end of every room, if we were going to get one drop, we're going to get two drops, basically. No, like, not basically. Literally. So there's two bombs. Will allow us to access those pills if we so desire. Do I so desire? I might so desire. He'll probably die. Got a little too close for comfort there. Man, if those pills are tears upgrades, I am going to be over the moon. Now, um, baby, I hear the pills are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Have mercy. What kind of meal is that, Frazier? Like, I know that Frazier's like, you know... Modern aristocrat. Speed down, huh? Not a huge fan of that. Um, I know he's like a modern aristocrat. Aristocrat. Not aristocrat. Blame, if you ever hear somebody make that mistake, blame Disney, man. I was like eight when the aristocrats came out. How am I supposed to keep that parsed in my head? Anyway. But toss salad and scrambled egg? 
It's like a weird breakfast, man. Just have like a, an omelet with some spinach in it. Sure, that's, you know, a little bit Upper East Side, but not necessarily crazy. Toss salad and scrambled eggs is just like, it's out of control. That's just weird for weird's sake, I think. That's a luck upgrade. That's a health downgrade. Uh, I'll, I'll trade another bomb for a luck upgrade. That seems like it could be very useful. Uh, I should have pushed this over here, but anyway. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fine. It seems like that could be very useful with uh, with contract from below. Um, baby, you seem a bit confused. Wow, he predicted how I was going to react to that song. But I got you pegged. All right, let's see what happens in the bedroom out of this. You know what? Now that I think about it, the song actually predicts exactly what I was going to say. He's but I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. Yeah, he's like, maybe he's at, uh, I've got Frazier pegged all wrong here. He's, he's got me pegged, apparently. Which, you know, he should at least ask permission first. Um, but, uh, he says, I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. If someone brought me that at a restaurant, they're like, oh, you're, okay, here's course number one. It's, uh, tossed salads and scrambled eggs, uh, Amuse bouche from the from the chef. I'd be like, well, it, you know, my my bouche is not amused right now. I don't know how to eat this. Give me some chicken nuggets. Okay. Piercing shots. One uh, one of nature's ultimate ways to compensate for relatively low damage, doing that damage to a lot of enemies simultaneously. Can't get into that room. That's okay. Mostly just ooh, thrilled to have as many keys as we do. If we could actually pick up some guppy items. That's the thing that we lacked on that last uh, technology soy milk cancer run. We didn't get any guppy items. And I was like, man, if a guppy item happens, I would be over the moon right now. I ended up being, you know, feet planted firmly on Earth. Should I mean, I was going to say unfortunately, but let's be honest. It's, it's a pretty good place to be for the most part. A lot of people say, you know, when they grow up, they want to be astronauts. That's very admirable, and I don't think they're being disingenuous. Oh, thank you, I guess. Um, I don't think those people are being disingenuous. I think they're they've they've chosen a uh, a career that's very noble and prestigious, and that's that's what draws them to it. And plus, space is cool. I would be scared shitless perpetually in space. You know, so I'm still nervous when I fly in an airplane sometimes. And, you know, air, air disasters do happen, but they're pretty freaking rare at this point. Like, when was the last major air disaster of, like, a European or North American airline? Because that's pretty much all I've flown. There was the Asiana flight, which, I, I mean, I'm going to count that because it was in North America. Um, but apart from that, it's been, like, ten years, right? There's, like, crashes in, like, the early 2000s. So it's, it's relatively safe. But shit goes wrong in space all the time. That's with like a hundred thousand, well, probably millions and millions of like flights. In space, you know, there's like five flights a year, and shit goes wrong like once every four years. It's very, very dangerous. So first off, I'd be scared shitless about getting up there. Then when I got up there, I'm sure I'd be like, man, the internet here is fucking slow. But Ryan, you'd be doing science and living your dream and shit like that. I would, but I know myself too. I'd, I'd be insufferable. Like. If you think I'm insufferable talking about space, I'd be I'd be a total piece of shit in space. Yeah, I would be the worst. Don't I don't let I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a kid, or at least I said I wanted to be an astronaut. Because when you're a kid, you know that's no black hearts in here anymore. So weird. Um, when you're a kid, that's the distant future, right? Like you don't need to worry about that shit. I think we're gonna keep doing these rooms because I want to get more consumable drops. Um, did I did I pick up missing page two there? Why did I pick up Missing Page 2? Because I was talking about astronauts. Like, when you're a kid and someone asks what you want to do with your life, you don't actually think about the duties of that job. That's why it's a bullshit question. That's why people were like, I've wanted to be an artist since I was three years old. I was like, you you don't know what they're... Like, I want to be a doctor since I was three. You know, you're three years old. You don't know what being a doctor is. You barely know how to talk, right? Like, don't get so high on yourself. Like, you knew. Even when I was three, I knew I wanted to be a doctor. That's a coincidence, motherfucker. Or, like, confirmation bias. You know, you feel like you've committed to doctoring already, so you want to stick with it. No three-year-old is like, you know, what? Why do you want to be an astronaut? Space is cool. Like, that's that's your motive, right? That's all right. Nobody's like, well, I want to test the effects of microgravity on, the you know, the con conductivity of a plant's xylem and phloem. Not when they're three, anyway. But that's that's what you end up fucking doing. 
It's like, why who? Why do you want to be like a cab driver when you grow up, Billy? Grandpa's a cab driver. Or, like, you can't hold that against people. Sometimes my mom will do that to me. She's like, you wanted to be an artist when you were three. I was like, I wanted to, I didn't know anything when I was three. I could barely read. I would, when I was three, I was like, maybe like a year and a half past shitting my pants. Always. You can't hold someone's opinion, like seriously, when a year and a half ago they were shitting their pants. Unless there's some kind of like medical condition. Like, that's unfair to, to hold someone's, uh, hold, so hold someone hostage for what they wanted to be when they were young. Anyway, and that's true for you as well. If you're watching this out there and you're like, oh, I don't really want to be a scientist, but I told my mom I wanted to be a scientist when I was four. You get those shackles off you, man. You do whatever you want. Or lady. You do whatever you want. I really thought at 800 we'd get something. I've realized I want to be a lot more serious about donations. Um, you know, obviously that didn't totally work out, but I wanted to be a lot more serious about donations. Get to 999 as soon as possible. It's all good, though. How do I feel about this run uh, thus far? It's okay. It's not a bad run. Uh, well, it's not a great run. But I love the synergies that can result as a result of technology. If we could actually experience some of those synergies, I would, uh, I'd be thrilled. I would be over the moon. As long as I wasn't an actual astronaut. So sometimes Kate's like, you know, within our lifetime, like, there might be s lunar hotels or something like that. Would you ever want to go? I don't know, man. When I'm sitting in airplanes and it's like, uh, you know, okay, uh, flight attendants prepare for takeoff. I'm like, oh shit, we're gonna, this is, get buckle up, because you might need to do something here. You're a young able-bodied gentlemen, you might need to help out if a disaster strikes. I get a little anxious and, like, on alert. I can't even imagine if I was going to fucking space. I would be... Oh, my God. Do, have we really come that far in our holidays? Like, it's almost like I need a, I, I need a holiday. Or if I was going to space, I would need a holiday to decompress from getting to my holiday. Like, if you're, like, a, a British noble in, like, fucking 1850... It's like, oh, it's time for holiday. Where should we go? Oh, I don't know. Let, you know, let's go to our our summer home in in fucking Wales. We'll we'll take the horse and carriage there. We'll be there in like a day. Cool. That's a relatively safe trip, I think. Or you can take a steamer across the channel, and you know, I'm gonna be in, uh, you know, I'm gonna summer in Paris or something like that. Okay, good. Congrats. Now it's like. You know, what are you going to do for your vacation? I'm going to strap myself into an aluminum can, fly across the ocean, and lay on the beach for a week. It's like, Jesus, man. I mean, it's not really that dangerous. Air travel's, you know, very safe now, but we've come a long way. <laughs> we've gotten a little bit out of control, I think, with that extravagance. This is not Depths 2, right? Yeah, okay. So I don't like fighting the adversary. The thing that especially sucks about fighting the adversary in our current position is that the best way to handle the adversary, and by handle I mean, like, not get hit, is to constantly keep moving. But by constantly moving, we can't uh, guarantee ourselves to actually do any damage, which is bullshit. The adversary does have a small tell, which we can use to just dodge out of the way. So anytime we see him have like an animation, we're just gonna move. Anytime I get nervous at all, I'm gonna move. That way we can at least have a little bit of time to hopefully like do some damage here. Like. The thing that I think is going to be best for us is these little chub shots. Lucky me. But really, like, the only thing we have to ensure is that we don't get hit too much. If we get hit a couple times, I don't think that's a big deal. I really, really, really... Oh, come on now. Don't blow it at the end. I really, really would like to get a deal with the devil here. No, 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 you're not going to do me dirty like this, adversary. Ooh. No deal with the devil, but magic mushroom. That's great. This run, it, it, this is kind of like the sundering point of this run, I feel. Where we're going to find out on this floor if we have the, the capabilities required to succeed, or if we're going to fail miserably. I don't think we're going to fail quickly. I think it'll be slowly, but it'll be one of those ones where we, like, we beat mom or something, and then we go down to the next floor, and damage is doubled effectively, and we're like, oh, well, I'm just dead now. Can't kill anything before they kill me. We got pretty lucky to uh, not take red heart damage. It ended up not mattering because we didn't get a deal with the devil. Oh my god! It ended up not mattering because we didn't get a deal with the devil. But I'm I'm 
a little proud, a little impressed that we managed to make it work to begin with. Damage could sure use a little bit of a boost. At least we're one-shotting some things now. Is this fine? I'm really relying on this item room to be uh, probably like unrealistically good. Come on. Like it, it, it has to be beyond my wildest expectations. But if it is like, uh, if it's like, I don't know, maybe not soy milk, but like skinny odd mushroom, I'd be very happy. Or um, sad onion. Code hanger. I don't know if code hanger can actually show up in in item rooms. Obviously, it's a mainstay of boss rooms, but uh, apart from that, huge damage dealers would be awesome as well. I mean, this is not new, but still, that's my that's my hunch here. Damage ups, tears ups, are all big right now. We're on an even floor. No boss rush on this one. Don't get don't get your hopes up. Um, Six bombs. Man, we picked up a lot of bombs. Good. Very good. Very good. Okay, we're going to crack up, open some of these uh, in the hopes of getting tarot cards. The Fool. Eh, it's interesting if we're going to our boss rush room, which we're not. Even throw one more down here. See you later. I think they despawn. Even if they don't, we just don't have to deal with them anymore. That magic mush pickup, I mean, that illustrates how wonky technology can be. Oh, that's pretty good. That's extremely rare for that to happen. You know, uh, Contract from Below gives you one golden, or one uh, iron chest and one red chest. That's pretty rare. But, um, you know, it's pretty wonky when you pick up technology and then even uh, Magic Mushroom still doesn't give you damage that you can really write home about. But it's okay. We're still trucking along here. I always, uh, my, my preference is always towards interesting runs, not just min-max runs, because I find them more interesting. So that is not epic fetus. We can't take it. I've learned my lesson on the fetus items. They're just not good enough. This is immediately after I was like, I, I don't worry about min-maxing, but I think, uh, oh, we're going to take this with us. I think you can understand my hesitance. See? Um... Because the bombs are just not that good anymore. Sure, they can give you good synergies, but I'd rather have technology, which also has good synergies. The synergies for, uh... Yeah, we've been. The synergies for, uh... The fetus items are usually like... You know, these bombs do more damage. These bombs are poison now. These bombs are homing now. Technology, I want the sweet curving laser of death, you know? I'm gonna take the hermit right away because we have money. And uh, we'll definitely take BFF, just for fun. I don't see a reason not to buy this. Keeping that Spirit Heart for now means I don't have to use Guppy's Paw. Not using Guppy's Paw means that I can keep more HP to eventually use Guppy's Paw. Strangely enough. Or funnily enough. Funnily it happened to me right in front of my face and I just cannot hide it. What are you doing here? Yeah, okay. Well, you are poisoned. Uh, I really can't get to the item room fast enough. <laughs> I The worst part about technology that most people don't think about, and that's myself included there, is that you can't, like, your shots have no momentum, so you can't run in a direction and kind of shoot them pseudo-diagonally. You really have to be there. Wherever you're trying to hit, you gotta hit. You gotta be standing exactly parallel to it. So for enemies like Bonies, it's a total pain in the dick. You gotta be right next to them. Blood bank. I like it. I love it. I want some more glove it. Don't mind a luck upgrade. Don't like a speed downgrade. Should have gotten fanny pack. Be getting consumables right now. In fact, that's probably what we should do is go back and buy fanny pack, but. I'm just hoping that maybe we can pick up uh, some other stuff along the way here. I'm hoping we can get a curse room and can become guppy, you know? I wouldn't mind, uh, wouldn't mind getting a little bit of that guppy action for myself, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not proud of that. Yeah, let's, we might as well get fanny pack as we can roll on the consumables here. 
We don't need the money, probably. Let's put a bomb down here. Maybe get a better tarot card and the secret room. That might not have even found the secret room. Let's let's not uh, be too optimistic about that. Joker? Joker. Well, that beat speed down. Last time I checked. So we'll buy a fanny pack, and then we'll start exploring the other direction. I really don't want to have to use Guppy's paw. It wouldn't be the end of the world if we did. Because the upside of using... Ooh, well, we can always just use the Joker card instead. The upside of using Guppy's paw is enormous. Or the upside of a deal with the devil, I should say, is enormous. And using Guppy's paw to get some spirit hearts would allow us to have a much better chance of getting a deal with the devil. But we can always use this Joker card and that'll be fine. And we'll be fine and everything's going to be fine and we're all going to be happy. Oh, I like you. 2020. Does it work? No, but it probably at least lets us do much more damage, if I had to guess. So this is fanny pack in action here. That's real money, in case you didn't notice. Oh, I like you a lot, too. We still did take red hard damage, but shit happens. Gimpy, also very good if we're going to be going to these blood banks. And this Joker card, still pretty strong as well. Really? Just maybe let me come up here. There's another blood bank up here. Might as well use that right away. Can go to our boss trap room, which I think we should, because there might be a red chest in it. We can always just say, hey, like, we're not going to actually open it if we don't like what's inside. Uh, excuse me, poop monster. Oh, yeah, wait a minute, pistol poop monster. Seriously, though, like, if you could maybe, uh, there we go, move into my field of view. Ooh, little, little sneaky little poop aperture there. That's the most number of times that poop has been used in a sentence, and each one of them has actually been accurate as well. Oh, we're done with this floor now. Or are we? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you again. I appreciate it. Keep dropping red hearts for me. I like it. Do we have old bandages? Is that what's doing that? Or I think we had old bandage on the last run. I don't want your money anymore. I want your life force. I want your life. Give me your life force. I really don't think that golden poop is worth it. No red chests. Without red chests, I don't feel the, the need for speed there. I say we just go, uh, you know, we'll pick up the remaining red hearts and we'll go to our, uh, I'll even use a bomb here. I know. We'll go to our other blood bank and we'll play it a little bit more. We probably won't get a deal with the devil. It's a uh, speed downgrade. We probably won't get a deal with the devil. So... Why do this one instead of the other one? When I don't have to worry about spikes on the other one. It's pretty stupid. Um, but if we don't get a deal with the devil, we'll pop the Joker card. I don't see any reason why this deal with the devil would be worse than a deal with the devil on the next floor. In fact, we would possibly have a good chance to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, so let's not worry about it too much. I didn't mean to do that. Why did I do that? That was a very strange... Oh, you know what I was trying to do? I had to like, reverse engineer what my brain was doing. I forgot we were on Curse of the Maze, so I was going to hit the space bar to skip the mom, like, intro screen. But instead, because of Curse of the Maze, I ended up just using Guppy's Paw with a space bar instead. Well, that's interesting. That's something that I don't think has ever happened to me before, so... Good good to know that we shouldn't do that in the future. Probably a little too eager to skip those scenes regardless. A lot of hard work went into those. So no boss rush, that's okay. Very easy fight. Could get a deal with the devil. The end? The end. We'll take our Polaroid, because I prefer the chest, and Joker card. Mom's knife. Yes, we will take it. I was going to say, Loki's horn's mom's knife is pretty cool. Just be a, like a lawnmower of destruction here. Let's be honest, the technology was not working out that fantastically for us anyway. Too bad 2020 doesn't synergize with mom's knife, because we would have like the coolest setup right now. As is, we just have crazy damage. Uh, now, I can't, I can't lie to you. I would love for this run to become like every other overpowered run that we have. And give us one last guppy item. I would be over the moon about that. Now, we should have a reasonable deal with the devil chance. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to curse rooms. Which is fine. But if possible, I might rather avoid that. 
But this run is looking pretty sorted now. We can even justify using, like, uh, just Guppy's Paw as our spacebar item of choice. The only reason I'm not using it right now to get to permanent Polaroid invincibility and as many spirit hearts as we can hold is because I want to see if maybe we can trade red hearts instead red hearts instead of spirit hearts for our uh, our devil deal should we get one on this floor which I hope we do but it's you know you got to plan for hope for the best plan for the worst I think we can justify this for now we can justify this it was not worth it at all that's gonna happen from time to time Let's recognize how good skulls have been for us. Without skulls, we would not have gotten the uh, Joker card, which means we wouldn't have gotten Mom's Knife, which means we'd still be rolling with bullshit technology at this point. I like technology. I just wish it liked me back, you know? But not every item has to be overpowered. Just like 90% of them, in my opinion. A little risky there, that's alright. Mr. Fred, I don't mind you anymore, Mr. Fred. I like the opportunity to take out your, um, your minions first. Because after your minions are dead, you pretty much offer no threat whatsoever. Especially because I can actually just sneak a little closer in here. There we go. How do you like this? All you need is, if you have Mom's Knife, just go stand next to him diagonally. Apparently that's his biggest weakness. Guppy. Guppy. There's not Guppy. Every time you need the Guppy items, there's never Guppy items. The only times I get Guppy is when I get Guppy all in one devil room. Well, when you put it that way, it doesn't really make me sound humble, does it? Anyway. It's alright. Let's keep it moving here. Keep them separated. Forgot what I was saying. Don't mind, Mr. Fred. Um, I guess what I was saying is, like, you know, I, I do... I like technology. It has some cool synergies. I do just wish that it was a little bit less offensively bad most of the time, but yeah, it happens. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. I love this. I like it. I want some more of it. That's not how that goes, but that's okay. We got so much HP, plus Gimpy, plus Fanny Pack, that I would expect to do pretty well on these. Man, that's not really what I was hoping for there, but shit happens. What do you got for me? Probably HP, which we'll eventually use to give ourselves, like, the HP cap, yeah? Earned an extra key. You know what? We earned an extra key. You can have it, key beggar. I'm going to take you down to four. Take, have, let you take me down to four, I should say. We don't have the speed necessary to get between those two, I think. All right, well, there you go. Take me down to four again. All right, that's all right. That's okay. We're going to keep this up. I wouldn't mind getting another HP bag. Drop the half heart there. Might prefer to stay at a half heart interval. I didn't drop the spirit heart. I appreciate that. I didn't mean to use it if I did use it. That's okay. Now we've got uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility. That's a very important measure to, to keep up, if possible. Well, if we're not going to get Guppy, I would still like to gain some of the Guppy flavor. If we could gain the ability to fly, I would be stoked. Red chest. No red chest. That's okay. Red HP. Eh, I think we're better off taking the HP instead of trying to be cute and staying at permanent Polaroid invincibility. I like how we shot in a direction, so they, they didn't spawn Chubb there. What are you trying to pull, game? Playing favorites a little bit there. Uh, there was a Tinted Rock on that room. I should go back for it. We got the bombs. I would love to get Small Rock. Uh, that's not a Tinted... Oh, there's a Tinted Rock right there. Okay. I gotta be honest. I opened it before thinking about it. Um, with Guppy's Paw, it seems like AAA battery is worthless, and uh, Maggie's Faith might actually be, you know, not the best trinket that we can get in the game at this point, but... Could give us three spirit hearts per floor. That's not meaningless. That's very bad damage. Uh, whenever possible, we should be gambling all of our HP away if we can get it back. Not for permanent Polaroid invincibility purposes, but to uh, get as many Gimpy plays as possible. And Fanny Pack, for that matter. Get as many of those plays as possible. What is that? <laughs> what did we just fight there it was like a champion that was you know darker than any i've ever seen i think i'm pretty sure it was just a turret but good loki's horns is another one that like it looks so cool i just wish it was a little better look at this little like crybaby here 
Oh, I only got mom's knife, but Loki's horns doesn't really give me four knives, and I got 2020, but 2020 doesn't really give me eight knives, like two times four that shoot out from my body at all times. Oh, the game's not fair. Oh, you big fucking baby. Just enjoy your quad knives and, like, get on with it. All right, let's try not to get ourselves killed. We're playing as Maggie. What did we, did we pick up, uh... Oh, it was Guppy's Collar that's giving us this eternal life sign. Not eternal life. You know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, no, 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 you know what I mean. Well, we can play the key beggar a little bit, too. Yeah. I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to take him down to... Let him, him take me down to four. Give me some red chest, dog. Yes. Not good. Not yes. Four it is. Just get back to full HP and then maybe leave. I'm perturbed by our uh, our lack of our loss of HP against Mom. We should be fine on the cathedral, so let's go to the cathedral. Um, if we die, I apologize. I hope it doesn't happen. I think we should use Guppy's paw once just to keep our eternal heart or yeah, our eternal heart alive. It's a very weird situation where like. Use Guppy's Paw once to keep your eternal heart alive, so you can use Guppy's Paw once as a result of that eternal heart on the next floor. It's a very groovy time. We could use it more. In fact... We could even use it once more than this. Next time we get hit, we'll use it. It won't ruin our eternal heart. And will allow us to stay at uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is... Where you want to be with Mom's Knife, because if something hits you, it and everything it's ever loved will die before you are vulnerable again. This is a very classic, like, vanilla-esque combo right now. I'm for it. Because it works. As we've done it, like, 70 times. If not more. Like, what do you do if you're in the position of these guys? Do you fight back? You got nothing to fight back with, mate. You're gonna die. You might be able to hurt me a little bit in the process. Is that really how you want to go out? Is As an agent of evil? Like, why not... I think it would be sweet if sometimes you walked into a room and the enemies just repented. They're like, oh shit, this guy's real strong, I surrender. And then you can make a sweet, like, quick time event moral choice about whether or not to kill them. That would totally fit tonally with, um... With the Binding of Isaac, I think. I think it would really, it would make the game... Maybe be noticed a little bit more by a lot of modern media outlets. I... Probably should have done that a second earlier. Oh well. Let's do this eye sack. <laughs> I insulted your biblical name, you ass. We don't have any special bombs. Oh, you are. You're in for a bad time. Get the whirling dervish of death. You faced your axis. I thought of a sweet board game, but I'm a poser and I've never played World of Warcraft. I've only played Hearthstone, so somebody's got to market it for me. It would be Axis and Allies, but you call it Jiraxis and Allies. Give it, a, give it a try, see if people like it. By the way, it didn't take the left hand. Suck on that, haters. Taters. Spider Babby. Ipecac. 25 cents. Shielded Tears. Or, sorry, Nearsighted Friend. Which is bad. Um, I'm gonna take them all. I don't really think that they're that useful. Like, Ipecac does not cause explosive knives. It might give us a small damage bonus. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, Sissy Longlegs is pretty good. What was the, what else did we get? Nearsighted Friend? I don't understand Nearsighted Friend. I'll just be straight with you on that one. I don't think it's particularly good. Is It's just like a shitty orbital, right? But is, is it maybe like a, the greatest orbital of all time? And I just, its effects are really subtle, so I don't notice? I don't think so, but I could be wrong about it. I'm wrong about a lot of things on a regular basis. Oh man, I'm so glad I got BFF. I still don't really need... Does it make... It must make your fly... Well, like, all of your familiars and stuff do more damage, right? Not just be bigger. So how much does it make your spiders do? Spiders normally do 2.5 times the damage of your tier, which is already great for us, but... If they do even more than that, that could be incredible. If they did, like, you know, 5 times the damage of our tiers... It would make it very easy to create a successful run from, like, BFF plus one spider item. Is this what you want to be remembered as, Pestilence? Like a straight-up dick bag? Because that's what you're going to be remembered as right now. Uh, excuse me. 
I would like to leave the room, please. Oh, man, this this uh, Maggie face is too good to pass up. Looks like, you know, Lisa Simpson in a bondage mask. I think that's a Morrissey song. Hey, hey, that's not real damage. That damage doesn't count. Chess. Come on. What's the point of having contract from below if I don't get... Uh, Way more, like, iron chest than I deserve just for existing. I don't really care about much of this damage. I don't think we can use Guppy's Paw once more. No, we can't use Guppy's Paw to, to axe our, uh... To axe our, uh... Eternal Heart here. Sorry. We gotta get in here. That'll do. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm pretty confident that we can kill Blue Baby without getting hit. Oh, now we can use Guppy's Paw. Pretty confident that if it comes down to it, we can kill Blue Baby without getting hit. I'm like 99.5% sure that we can kill Blue Baby only get if we get hit once. Because the period of permanent Polaroid invincibility is not very long, but it is quite effective. Much like your dad's penis. I'm sorry, that was lewd. It's true, though. Okay. I got the speed to, like, just get up behind you. Helps if I don't get hit in the process, but it doesn't make that big of a difference. Can't believe we're not getting any chests here. The game's holding out. How many freaking bloat rooms are there going to be here? It's just stupid. It's just stupid. I don't care about that eye. You think I care about that eye? What am I, an optometrist? I got my own eye. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I'll have to charge. Also, first I'll have to learn what it fucking does, because I don't know. Am I guilty of playing lazily right now? Yes, I'll admit. Chemical peel. This is a straight up damage upgrade. No, no funny stuff. Come get a taste, motherfucker. It's good to be the king. <laughs> All right, blue baby. Let's not front here. I don't know what fronting means, but I'm not gonna do it with you of all things. Sweet! Uh, another easy peasy lemon squeezy run there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.